Hello everybody, I am here with Terry Witherden today. Terry is one of the five people in the first round of the Fast Track Your Business in 90 Days program and I thought it would be helpful to have her come on and tell you a little bit about what she's been experiencing and maybe shed some light on her concerns as she was entering and what she's learned so far. So Terry, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about who you are and how long you've been in business, what do you do and then we'll dive into the questions in a moment. Yeah. So as Anna said, my name is Terry Witherden. Um, I'm a freelance designer and I've been looking to take kind of the next step up in my business for a while now. Um, I've been traveling as a digital nomad for two to three years, which has been absolutely incredible. But I'm now looking kind of to take it up to the next level and maybe, you know, stay in one place for a little bit of time, but keep that flexibility to move if I want to. Fantastic. Um, short and sweet. And um, I should say that we met on a um, canoe, I think, on the Mississippi uh, around that time, didn't we, as part of when I was doing a more nomadic thing as well. So um, great to be working with you now. So why now, I guess, why did you want to take your business to the next level now? And what was it about this program that made you think, yeah, this is the right fit for me? Um, I think for a while, deep down, I've known that I can't keep traveling forever. Um, I noticed that a lot of the relationships I made was super strong and super deep, but you can only go so deep in making relationships with people, both professional and, um, you know, personal. If you keep moving on, you can only kind of get six months in and then you start afresh again and again. And that was getting a, a little bit tiring. Um, so I knew I needed to make the next step. I was never sure in what direction. So I'd kind of go a little bit forward this way and then backwards and then back this way and sort of end up dancing on the spot and not actually making any progress in any direction. And then, you know, the savings are starting to look a little bit ropey. And I was like, right, I need to actually uh, commit to something. And I'm kind of done with fluffing around and doubting. Um, I need to, like, really believe in what I'm doing and, you know, really go for it. So, yeah. And what about the program then? So what was it? I know you were part of the challenge that we did back in January. Mm -hmm. What was it that led you to think, yeah, you know what, I'm going to step up, I'm going to invest. The savings are <laughs> depleting, but I'm going to yes. take this step and, and go ahead anyway. Um, I think it was said I've been living uh, on the road for quite a while. And then the, the timing of the program was the beginning of January. So obviously you're all fired up with, you know, this is the year that is the year or the beginning of the rest of the years. Um, and uh, I was doing the... Uh, client generation challenge which I found super useful and again was really impressed with how quickly uh, there was like a nice tight group of us together mm -hmm. um, understanding each other's businesses even in just five days with you know one Facebook live um, a day for a week um, and then I, I had a 30 minute call with you and the clarity I took so many steps forward in that 30 minutes uh, steps in directions I didn't even know I was looking at going um, so many steps forward compared to how I'd been feeling a bit stuck for the past, you know, three, four months. Mm -hmm. And I just got off the phone and I was like, whoa, if 30 minutes can do that, what is 90 days going to do? Which was a little bit scary, but also a whole lot of, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Awesome. And it is scary and it is quite fast paced. Now that we've got into the programme, I'm feeling that we're going quite quickly. There's a lot to get through. So um, it's definitely a big leap. Um, but I love what you said about the challenge. I love that particularly about that challenge. But each challenge, there's a lovely dynamic. You guys are all supporting each other. Um, four out of the five, in fact, in the programme came from that challenge. So it's so good that you guys are continuing to work together. Um, and then, yeah, the call. I remember the call. It was fantastic. So much, as you said, clarity going forward and some really exciting things. And you were really honest and taking action right away. So that's And you have been doing since as well. So that's the best way to get results, really. Um, and did you have, I imagine you had some concerns around investing your time, your money in the programme. So what were those concerns and what made you feel actually, no, I'm still going to take that leap? Um, my primary concern is a concern that I, I, I pretty much battle with on a daily uh, basis, especially like when I say, I am a designer, which I am. But for some reason, there's part of you that's like, liar. Um, so <laughs> it's like we're learning how to deal with that. So I quite quickly put that concern in a box because it, it's always there anyway. Um, my other concerns were, is this time that I could be using actually like earning a couple more invoices? Could I be using the time that I'd invested in this course um, actually on earning money instead? Um, but I honestly think that, yes, although I could have taken that action, taking a few weeks away from earning to invest in my skill set, invest in my business knowledge, invest in this course, both monetary and time, is going to be so much more profitable in the long run. 
That's an interesting point on the sort of opportunity cost because you think, okay, I could, and it is an important question to ask, you know, should I invest my time and money in this or that? I remember when I asked you, and it's a good question to ask yourself when you're considering this kind of program, okay, how many clients do you feel you need for this to sort of work out as an investment? You actually said one client, so it wasn't so much the finance, right? It was more the clarity, the confidence Mm -hmm. that you, yes, you are a designer, Terry, so I'm glad you put that in the box. (laughs) You totally are. Um, and uh, and that's uh, great to be super clear on, okay, I need to have five clients or 10 clients or actually the one or no clients. All I want is the clarity. And that's an important mm-hmm. question to ask. And Melanie was also saying when I chatted to her the other day that um, the first couple of modules are very sort of foundational. And I know that it's easy to get impatient and you want to sort of do the client stuff and the marketing and so on. But she expressed how that foundation really then saved her lots of time and she's had lots of ahas and the next steps become super clear after that so sounds like you had a similar experience and that actually t- slowing down a little bit speeds it up ironically absolutely and I feel like it was everything in life um although there's a lot of you know test learn implement go mm. go go if you're on rocky foundations mm. you're all over the show and um for me I've always had quite a clear set of personal values and being able to extract what's the personal value and what's the value that I want the business to carry? And then where's my personal brand sitting into that? And, you know, these kind of really big questions. It's so important to actually take time to like build that almost like compass so mm. that now that I'm looking at clients, now that I'm looking at the marketing strategy and things like that, I have a guide. You know, it's not a case of I can do, it's, you know, what what's the phrase? You can do uh, anything, but you can't do everything. Yes. And having those values provides that filter. So that first module was... I, I love this kind of thing anyway, mm. so I'm, me too. I'm very <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's music to my ears. I'm all about the foundations. So um Yeah, exactly. And just, you know, getting clear on your vision because if you're not excited about the very vision, you're not going to be excited about the hard work that's coming up as well. So go do the work on the vision and get, you know. Yeah, no, absolutely. Into- that's so important. There's another quote um, from Stephen Covey who wrote the um seven leadership habits. He said that it doesn't matter how fast you're going if you're going the wrong direction. So absolutely. I do think that's the danger if you rush off putting a website and doing all this stuff and actually you realize hang on that's not where I want to be at all that's not going to be very meaningful success for you yeah and that's something that I've done two or three times over and okay it's always worked out but it's still not quite the play you know you need to do something new to be somewhere you've not been before so here we go yeah it's a little bit part of the process I've done the same you do need to sometimes make those mistakes if you want to call them mistakes but it does slow you down a little bit so it's great Mm -hmm. once you actually grab onto what you really want to do um so were you surprised by anything so far is it what you expected what have you learned we're about halfway through now, so um, maybe you have some insight. Yeah, so I've actually been really um, surprised on the value for money. Um, the content, like the sheer content amount is mm. actually wonderful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> More than I thought it would be, but it's also all put there for you to do in your own sweet time. It's there for you to do at your convenience when you're ready. There's no, uh, it must be done by this date. And if you are a little bit behind the rest of the group, although it's very fast paced, we're very supportive. Um, so I've been enjoying the content. I've been enjoying the community. And I think what surprised me the most is actually how how much I not already knew, but realised uh, actually I can do this. You know, mm. the confidence level uh, has slowly but surely with each module been increasing. And I can feel the kind of wheels of momentum starting to speed off. And I'm telling people about it and I have an elevator pitch and I've got, you know, custom research going on. Yeah. And it's like, oh, this is happening. <laughs> so, it's, yeah, very exciting. Yeah, that is exciting. And I think that's interesting, as you said, the confidence, because as much as it feels wishy-washy when you're selling a program to someone saying, oh, it gives you clarity, it gives you confidence. Actually, that's part of the magic. And that's what enables you to do everything else. You have, in a way, it sounds cheesy, but you have everything you need to be able to be successful yes the content is important and as you said I can guide you on marketing and sales but ultimately Mm -hmm. again being able to own that you're a designer being able to actually go out there and take action we worked on getting comfortable with sales and beginning to research your clients and going out there and talking to people and and that's as important as having the frameworks and the strategies and so on yeah exactly so what have you learned so far and anything that you've implemented or already taken action on oh where to start (laughs) So I've actually learned uh, in the past when I've set up businesses, I've done very little, if any, client research. Mm. I've just got, I like doing this and I'm going to do this for people and the people will come, uh, which they did. But again, it's probably a little bit slower and mm. less efficient than it really could be. Um, so I've learned the importance and also the kind of, you know, it's, it's quite enjoyable to think about your customer avatar and your value proposition to them. And what that's now meant is my initial thought of, who I wanted to be working uh, with and for actually probably wouldn't be that viable. And actually 
looking back again at the values of will I enjoy working with these people will they pay my worth you know what I'm going to charge and actually there wasn't that much overlap so I have gone back and then started another um, almost client hypothesis to go test again all the time while still you know working forward on other things um, so I've, I've really learned the importance of the client and also how it's kind of scary but it's also really fun to just go out and talk to people yeah. see how you can help them yeah, yeah absolutely and as you said you know when we start out and I did the same it's you know it's great we do get some word of mouth some referrals by being a little bit sporadic and natural which is a good sign that there is potential and but we can be so much more strategic and I'm glad you're both sort of enjoying the process and also seeing the value and actually going out there and being a bit more strategic and systematic about researching who we're working with because when we first leave our jobs I think there's this big focus on us and I'm a big fan of this is my vision and my values and so on but there is a pivoting point where we have to start thinking a bit more like a business and think about them and how we're helping other people so um, I think that is definitely an important realization and great to see how that's evolving and of course the testing and learning mindset that you have that it's not necessarily you talk to a client boom spot on my strategy is in place this is going to be my business (laughs) it can be like that but uh, you know I think it's stronger for actually questioning doubting and redoing it early on rather than going down this line you know for a year or two and then realizing hang on this is not working yeah I feel like there's also more opportunity for growth through being that little Mm -hmm. bit more um almost you know putting a filter up on who you work with which you know there's still part of me right now my heartbeat's increased going no you need money take every job that comes your way mm-hmm. um which is again it's like that quick buck but is it going to fulfill you know the other buckets like I, I I have a very clear idea of who I want to work with and who not only would I enjoy working with but people who I think would enjoy working with me making the whole work process you know that's what I wasn't getting in the job I had previously that's what I came to freelance self-employment for was to get a little bit more than just a transaction of like resources for money yeah and again it's the opportunity cost because yes you can take that client but it means you don't have the time and energy to take your dream client and we often talk you know I'm I'm pretty rational sense rational and sensible but I do think you know the universe and the signs do tend to fall into place um you know if we say no to one client actually the next day often and in fact once you said I think after that 30 minute call you know you walk down the street and hallelujah the ideal client was right there in front of you and you won't see that if you're busy doing the wrong clients that you're not enjoying and that are they're not you know part of your strategy yeah exactly it's again that you know you could go in that direction but if it's the wrong direction yeah it's a little bit fruitless yes and what about if someone's watching this they're sort of a little bit on the fence maybe that they're at the position that you were that they've been I don't want to say plodding along, but they've been working themselves and they've been no. seeing <laughs> some results <laughs> going in different directions, maybe, and they're a little bit sort of, okay, I am ready to step things up. What would you say if they're unsure or how would they decide this is a fit? What advice would you give them? I think if it is scaring you a little bit, then it's the right thing. Mm. Because I feel like this is um, gently pushing at the comfort zone of a lot of us in the group because it is so mm. fast paced. Um, so I think you need to have, you know, the honest thought to yourself of like are you really ready to step up and do it or are you kind of just saying that you're ready to step up and do it you know what are you willing to put into it because it's not like a breeze along course you kind you can't get away with not turning up or not doing the work because Mm. you're you're letting not only yourself down but the rest of the group as well and that's definitely not a negative thing because there's like a accountability part to it but you need to be honest with yourself first and I, I, when I thought about this originally, I was like, oh, you know, you should do it if you feel ready. But then I was like, who feels ready? You know, yes. nobody feels ready. <laughs> so basically, if you don't feel ready, but feel like this is the time, just do it. Because you will, you know, it, where could you be in three months time versus doing it and not doing it? You know, it's it's kind of a no brainer if you know that it's time to take it up to the next stage. Yeah, no, I love that. That's so important. As you say, I mean, it's going to take a while to get these foundations in place and whatever, but it's going to take even longer if you never get started. So better to to do it now. And as you said, I mean, I'm a big fan of growth. I think you can push yourself too much too soon, but that's obviously the benefit of having me as a coach and the group supporting you and so on. And it is fast paced, but we also have the time then, the space in between. You guys are going at slightly different paces. You're sometimes heading back through your previous sections and so on. And the accountability piece, um, having you guys partnered up, I think is, has been fantastic. I've seen you um, meeting up with each other and supporting and encouraging each other and sharing your expertise because you guys all have experience mm-hmm. too. So it's great to see that as well. Yeah, I think that although it is hard work like and fast paced, nobody's been left behind. Mm-hmm. 
and there's been no and no everybody has done some you know form of growing only I'm only halfway through and we yes. can already see the progress with each other's ideas and um I hesitate to use the word setbacks but you know experiences yeah you know you've gone in that direction had a slight buffer so maybe you should in this direction you know and it's all very encouraging and as you said we all we all have um thoughts and experiences to share with each other as well so yeah and I love that you guys are listening to each other's experiences and as you said sort of okay someone's come across a bit of a stumbling block and then someone else has had that experience as well Um, and each module of course builds on the previous one so we started big picture we're getting much more strategic now we're going to be moving into more the really uh, concrete implementation and anchoring that into our schedules so hopefully that will sort of put the final pieces together into the puzzle. Yeah which I'm really excited about I feel like um, so far I've always kind of come to this point in my business where, okay, I have an idea of what I'm doing and what I do. And then it kind of like peters out or falls away. So I'm really actually very excited to have some sort of structure and plans and um, knowledge to actually how to take it forward uh, and and keep, keep the momentum going. Well, it's such a critical step. And I think like you, you know, I was very sort of freedom and nomadic life and travel and I don't want structure and I just want to be, you know, free flowing and so on. I really rebelled initially. I didn't want an alarm clock. I didn't want any regular schedule. And I've just realized that actually in that structure lies the freedom. So having a bit of a plan, you know, not just the strategy, but actually the, okay, I know these are the 10 things I have to do every Monday morning. That means I can then take Monday afternoon off. If you don't have that, you're constantly, oh, I should be doing more. Oh, I'm here Mm -hmm. in Norway, but actually I should be da 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 but if you know what you're doing then it's much more free yeah and it's so much nicer to actually sit down with a coffee on a Monday morning and know what you're going to do um that's actually probably one of the few things I do miss from the more corporate life is having you know a set a set to-do list and a set list of expectations as a freelancer and you know at this stage solo business person I've got all the hats in the world on um and you know sitting down and being like who do I want to be today account controller or marketing guru or da, 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 da. having that little bit of structure means you can just get on with it and go mm. forward and see progress <laughs> it's, it's so intimidating I think to sit down and go right I'm going to write a blog post or record a thing or something like who am I going to write to what am I writing about where is this for and so on so just to have that little element of the structure absolutely I'm glad you're experiencing that too and looking forward to I'm, I'm quite a geek on these sort of time management and planning things so uh, <laughs> glad you're excited about that too I am good anything else you'd like to add or before we wrap up um no I just think as I said if you're if you're honestly thinking about doing it there's something obviously in you that knows it's time and I think as I said it's incredible value for money it is hard work but the progress is very tangible um and that seeing you know one pro- piece of progress build on the next piece of progress build on the next is really quite addictive and fun and I think you know you'll end up kind of brimming with confidence for this idea which will take you forward in the directions you actually want to go so amazing love that really happy to hear that and um, have been loving having you in the program too so thank yeah. you so much thanks for taking your time and um, I hope that was helpful I'm sure it was to people a little bit on the fence to understand a little bit more about what this entails and um, thank you Terry and I look forward to continuing working with you and best of luck with your design business thank you Anna bye thanks <laughs>